me um, with not only the resources but they also used to do many different workshops there um, and at first I wasn't attending the workshops because they're not mandatory um, but when I started to go I realised that it really really was helpful and that's when my grades actually started to up. Support, support, support is just there 110%. And because I got learning disabilities I still have access to the libraries where it's a lot more quieter so I thought it was great how libraries are going more open to people with special needs. I don't actually think I would have passed if I didn't have the library because I couldn't concentrate at home like ever. Um, so being able to go to the library and it's 24 hours as well. So it's it's perfect for students. Like. It provided a space where we could be creative and do our work at, at any time we want. So yeah, like if we had, had a sudden burst of creativity, you could go and make it sort of flourish in a sense. Third floor at the back, all quiet. Second floor with all the live, with all the computers. Yeah, definitely the third floor. I think the first, first floor, yeah, yeah, by the computers. I think it was just a nice place to just zone out and sit there. It wasn't too quiet and it wasn't too loud. So yeah, that was my zone in place. I mean, it is one of my favourite parts of the university, which I didn't think would be my favourite part of the university when I first started. Surprisingly I'm going to miss all the all-nighters because I've done an awful lot of all-nighters in that library. Yeah, if I do get an alumni card I will get one just so I can go to that library. Um, the library is so useful I can't even begin to explain. If it wasn't for that I don't know where I'd be honestly. I, I would go so far as to say I probably wouldn't have completed my degree without it.